Games, Brains and Banging Life here with a track by track for The Infamous Slaughter of the Soul by At The Gates. Mm. The fourth studio album by the Swedish melodic death mm. metal band, released November 14th, 1995. The last album before their 11 year breakup Oof. from 96 to 2007. Slaughter of Soul is considered a landmark in melodic death metal and played a major role in popularising the Gothenburg scene sound alongside the Jester Race by In Flames mm. and the Gallery by Dark Tranquility. Yeah, I mean, when you think of the Gothenburg, Swedish death metal, mm. melodic death metal scene, Slaughter of Soul and At The Gates are two things mm. you always think of. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I do like this album a lot. It's one I'm very, very familiar with. I don't know. This is the first time I listened to it all the way through. Like, okay. I, knew, I, knew, I knew tracks of it and obviously we've seen them live. So like some of these songs, I'm like, oh yeah, I've definitely heard that live because it's a banger. There's some live loads now. Yeah. We're at the gates live loads. Mm. Yeah. But we begin with Blinded by Fear. Mm. Love the industrial clanging and banging at the start mm. a recorded voiceover. Then it kicks on the slamming death metal, chunky riffing and thumping drums. Solid as fuck with just a touch of melody to give it a deeper edge. Although mostly it's about its frenzied tempo. Mm. So this is like, I love the scrapey, like the scrapey start, like, like you said, the industrial <laughs> clanging yes. and banging. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one of my favourite tracks. And it's one I play, to, I play to people to show why I like metal. Okay. Like, it's so like, there you go. This is what, this is what like proper metal is. All right. So yeah. Um, so good. No mucking proper about. Proper metal. Proper you metal. You heard it here first. <laughs> cool, blimey, governor. Um, I, I put so good, no mucking about. So literally you're straight in. This is what the album's going to be. Cool. Yeah. Slaughter of the Soul, title track, mm. the classic build, shout of go, and heavyweight head banging explosion mm. made me smile. It's such a classic thing, mm. you know? Um, we have a really strong effort, though. Mm. Loving to meet you riff from crunchy slamming cymbal heavy segment, followed by some solid screeching guitar work. Mm. Go! I miss live music. I can imagine like when a pit, like say when a pit goes yeah, when he says a, go, and yeah. I'm like, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I've heard this one played live a lot. Yeah, so like when they start off, it's a really strong pace, solid guitar work. It just, it's, so I use that word solid a lot, but it is just brutal. It's it? a fair summation. Yeah. Because as I'm going to say now, with cold, no mm. major shake up of the sound, mm. but this is a really strong showcase of the more melodic edge the band has, mm. while still sounding impressively chunky as per usual it's just bang after banger at this stage i did think about how much i'd have hated this when it first came out though like 1995 me mm. finding my feet in metal i was what was i 11 yeah so like so i mean like there's no yeah there's there, there's no me getting into the music like this in 1995 mm. no way no no definitely same same for me really yeah. i think my dad played this when he was in the tape headbangers ball and obviously quite enjoyed it back then but to listen to the whole album is a bit different to one song mm -hmm. so um, yeah I put another, another fast one another fast pace straight in I really love the solo in this one so I said like a bit more of a, the melodic side on this one cool hmm. Under a Serpent Sun awesome riffing and pleasurable drumming yet again the lengthy combo that leads to the vocal scream is absolutely brilliant at the gates we're on fire here and it's tracks like this that prove it the Gothenburg sound is so familiar here and it's certainly of a time hmm I've alluded to I put heavy but accessible. Mm. So like you can hear his vocals. So like some people kind of get put off by certain metal types of metal because they can't they like relating to the lyrics and hearing the lyrics. And this one it's like it's heavy but you can still like hear what he's singing. Yeah. So yeah, solid track. Oh, okay, this is worth solid. Solid. You know, like, solid. Get, solid. Like, cattle problem if I keep saying it. You need a thesaurus, man. I need a thesaurus. Um, meaty. Into the Dead Sky. A short break from all the metals, we get a two minute mm. odd piece of soft melody. I like the tune, it's nice mm. sounding, and it also builds on volume and complexity. Yeah, I like that. I think you need it. an album like this, you need you need kind of a little bit of a breather. Yeah, it comes around at halfway point as well. Palette cleanser. Yeah. Uh, moose boot, not moose boosh. Yeah, palette cleanser, that'd be, that'd be good. You said it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suicide Nation, off we go again. The metal coming back in furious headbanging style. Energetic and wild, there's no surprises here, but to be honest, I'm not looking for a surprise. I just want to hear classic melodic death metal, and that's exactly what I'm hearing here. I bet leaning towards the heavier end of the spectrum. Mm. I put kicks right back in with this fast one, really funds along frantically. Because it's just, yeah. Is it solid? <laughs> it is solid. It's solid. Yes. Yeah. It's solid. <laughs> World of Lies. Talking about chunky dumb and drum and bass beats, though. Holy hell, is this meaty. Love how much of a, have a headbanger this is. A real descent in the chaos and furious showcase of mid 90s aggression in the musical form. Still very interesting to hear, even if there's not exactly a ton of variety. Mm. Well, I put, I put ooh, them drums at the start. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Um, just relentless. I can picture you and Brendan in the pit for this one. Okay. Yeah, and coming back all like, <gasps> like dead after it. That was quite, that was quite fun. <laughs> Unto others. Stick in the form, the fire burns brightly here, but we get a wilder style of riff and it gives it a welcome edge. Nothing too noteworthy, mm. but no complaints either. Mm. Um, I feel like the opening scream sums up 2020. Okay. Just like starting. <laughs> I love the bits when it all quietens down. It's like the great pace. And it, and it doesn't out of state as welcome, like any song in this album. It's just solid. <laughs> Nausea. Super short blast of fury, pounding riffs and drums, the tempo is thrashy as hell. Yeah, I thought strong. Um, loved how angry. I thought Anders. Lucy has called Anders, isn't he? I'm sure he's called Anders. Is that just me being like Swedish? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's called Anders or Sven or something. Um, no. So the album doesn't. Oh yeah, I was just looking at the pace, so fast and aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a very, very really? in your face one. Yeah. It's a solid one. Need. <laughs> Keeping it short and sweet, we get another <laughs> frantic blast of noise. One where I almost had an issue separating it from the previous track. But then those riffs hit and I'm in love again. Killer. Mm. Pull out the track. I really like the slow, twinkly piano pit. Tries to get your breath back at the end. So it does okay. kind of like, slow right down at the end, doesn't it? So, okay. Yeah, I like that part. <laughs> And we end with the flames of the end. Big finish. There aren't, there isn't a bad, there is, there isn't a bad song on this mm. album. It goes out with a bit of an epic bang. The atmospheric flourish is extra cool. The subtle drum beat and industrial theme guitars and feedback are even cooler. However, if I had one complaint, mm. I think this song would have been better as the first song, the intro. Yeah, because Bloody Buff Free just comes in and ugh, there we go. Whereas this Whereas... has got an epic flourish <clears throat> to it. Yeah. yeah. What would you finish with? Need just keep it short and sharp at the end. Yeah. Just swap yeah. literally. Put that at the start. Yeah. That's all, not messing around with the album track listing. Just put Flames at the, of the end and call it the Flames at the beginning yeah. at the start and then just go blind by fear and all the way back through the album. Hmm. Yeah? You'd be like, Jay, you get thrown out of the recording studio for giving you yeah. uh, <laughs> yes, feedback. Yeah, this is my advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, do it this way, but not shit. <laughs> Ron says you've got to go. <laughs> um, so top three for this one? Mm. Yeah. F- mine were easy. I'll go for mine. Blinded by Fear, World of Lies and Suicide Nation. Boom. Solid. You're struggling. Yeah, I'm a bit. It's quite well, a few. It's quite a lot. I never sort of write them down first. I always wait till this period and then just try and pull them out like this. Cold. I mean, Slaughter the Soul is one of them for mm. sure. Uh, Slaughter the Soul, Cold, and... I can't, I'm not going to blind by fear. That, that'd have to be in like any top whatever of... Whatever. And the Flames at the end, because mm. I do like it quite a lot. Mm. There you go. Slaughter the Soul by At The Gates. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?